Hello. And, uh, oh. and, and. Hello and welcome to this welcome session. Uh, we decided to organize this welcome session to give everyone a basic set of tools to make the most out of the conference. Uh, both people who are new to DEPCONF and people who have been to DEPCONF before are welcome to participate. Both people who are active in Debian and people who aren't yet are welcome to participate. Uh, also, people who uh, aren't yet uh, active in Debian and have no intention of being active in Debian are welcome to participate. Everyone is welcome to participate. We would like to create a situation in which people who don't know each other can relax and interact freely in a place that is welcoming and non-judgmental, open to exchanges of opinions and experiences. Everyone is free to choose how much to participate. You can choose to interact or just to lurk or to take some time off for yourself as you prefer uh, and change your mind at any time. This is true for this session as well as for the rest of the conference and it includes games of Mao. For uh, anything that is not said here, you can ask from desk any question. From desk is the people over there that you probably have already met. They give you these things. Um, this is the Debian diversity, diversity statement uh, that um, uh, is valid for Debian and is valid for this DevConf. DevConf. Uh, the Debian project, including DevConf, uh, welcomes and encourages participation by everyone. No matter how you identify yourself or how others perceive you, we welcome you. We welcome contributions from everyone as long as they interact constructively with our community. And while much of the work for our project is technical in nature, we value and encourage contributions from those with expertise in other areas and welcome them in our community. So that's the setting for that conf, to which you are welcome. Um, we the, the 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 idea of this moment is that um, it's split in several steps. Uh, that was step one. Welcome. Uh, st right. That was step zero. Uh, step uh, one is uh, tips and tricks that will come later, and then we have stories. Uh, in which uh, people who have been to DEPCONF before and people who haven't can tell stories from past DEPCONFs or stories on how you got here. And then there's a getting to know each other session in which uh, we go around and introduce each other to each other. Um, how many of you are at DEPCONF for the first time? Yes, that's fantastic. <laughs> and how many of you have been here before? So, uh, in DevConf. Okay, so we have stories. Good. Uh, good. I guess we can go on with tips and tricks. Um, so there are several resources. The wiki has is very well curated. Uh, uh, how many of you have not seen the wiki, Deb, the DebConf wiki yet? <laughs> Good. So okay, it's also reasonably well advertised, and if you haven't seen it yet, uh, you can have a look. Uh, there's the mailing list, uh, there's the DEPCONF discuss mailing list that can be used for uh, anything that goes around the DEPCONF, lost and found, like I lost, somebody today lost uh, a piece of cloth for the laptop that had a cheat sheet of Unix things, uh, it's probably at front desk, and if you look for, you lost your wallet and you're looking for it or something, you can post to the DEPCONF discuss list. 
uh, you want to keep an eye to it because occasionally people post about non-official DEPCONF activities, like there was one posted yesterday, which is meet for running this morning, run for a certain amount of kilometer at a specific average speed, and if you keep up with the others, you just make it back in time for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one. Uh, but I didn't go. But there's a lot, there's people going swimming, people going dancing. Uh, there's a lot of things that happen besides DEPCONF because we are all kind of, I mean, I guess most of the people at DEPCONF are used to organizing things in a way or another related to Debian or not, and so things happen. Um, there's IRC, there's a hash DEPCONF, which has the bot that tells you if people arrived, tells you uh, when lunch starts, and you can use it to look for people, uh, ask if people want to join you for a round of laundry or a ga some game. Um, uh, if you're looking for someone, you go there and say, can anyone see that person? We have an excellent spy system around <laughs> the conference. Um, and uh, for anything else, medical emergency, WASP, by, uh, stings, laundry, tourist information, practical information, you can ask front desk. Um, um, normally, uh, so that, that was general uh, tips and tricks. About the location, uh, normally there is a quiet hack lab and a normal hack lab. Uh, I still haven't found out which one is which this year. Uh, I think Trace uh, is very quiet. Um, it seems that Paris Hack Club is quiet. Uh, but if you are in a noisy Hack Club, you can ask on IRC, is there a quiet Hack Club? <laughs> Ash Depconf. Um, Last time I checked, uh, the only uh, smoking place was the beer garden tables, which is the tables outside that are long and kind of red. And they have ashtrays on top. There might be non-smoking signs showing up in the next days, but the, the designated areas are most kind of, that's for smoking and the rest mostly smoking free. There is uh, frequently asked questions about the DEPCONF in the wiki that are quite detailed. So that's also worth a look. Um, then in terms of about person-to-person -person interaction, uh, there are more non-native non English speakers than native speakers. So don't worry too much about your English. Uh, it's unlikely that you are speaking with somebody that grew up speaking it anyway. Don't think about it too much. Don't try to leave a good impression. Don't try to be perfect. Keep it simple, but say it. Um, the point is pretty much communication, not being perfect at English. So if you can say something, try to do that without thinking about English. Um, and if you are a native English speaker, keep in mind that there's more non-native speakers than native speakers. We can beat you. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it's quite important because sometimes native speakers don't realize how fast they are talking or when they use slang words or some kind of jargon and it's very difficult to follow, and it's irritating to always ask, can you repeat, please? Can you repeat more slowly? So I can understand that it's not easy for you guys to think about talking slowly, but please do. Um, so yeah, speak slowly, avoid too many slang terms, or maybe double check that uh, the other person is still attentive. Um, <laughs> Um, m keep, moderate a bit your assertiveness if you're a natural English speaker. Another person may not be able to keep up 
if you're very assertive, they, they may have to deal with your assertiveness and the language. And they may be able to keep up with your assertiveness in their native language, but uh, with both things could be quite daunting. Give some time to people to understand and reply. There was a kind of interesting uh, rule of thumb that when you finish, when you when you have finished saying something, count to three uh, before saying something else, and the, uh, that that kind of leaves a pause for the other person to finish parsing the audio that was buffered in streaming. Uh, build the syntax tree, navigate it, uh, <laughs> compile, <laughs> optimize, understand, figure out a reply, and say it. Um, yeah, some of us need multiple passes. Um, don't be afraid to go and give a person positive feedback, be it on their Debian work, their talk, or their funny t-shirt. Um, a very good way to be in the center of things is to volunteer as video team, front desk. It's easy, it's fun, you can do it an hour a day, you get to know interesting people. Um, uh, you may get a t-shirt, so yay. With a special color. Um, and feel free to get out of your comfort zone. Uh, don't spend time only with people from your, uh, your, own, your own nationality or only with people you already understand, but you can go and experiment. There's loads of us. Um, so if you stay in your group of 20 mates, uh, you may miss the remaining 580. And then you go home and you're like, oh my god, I was like with so many wonderful people and I have no idea who they were. Uh, it would be a shame, but no means no. So whenever you have been out of your comfort zone too much, feel free to go and have a walk along the river or go back with your friends and have a drink. And um, If possible, the, the, the uh, default language of the conference is English, so if you are with people who speak your own, some, you're speaking some other language and and a person who's not speaking it joins you, try to switch to English. So that kind of include others in the conversation. Then other activities. If you like card games, keep an eye on Mao players. Generally, a cluster of people around the table playing at night and saying silly things. Do not ask about the rules. But feel free to join. <laughs> there are games of assassin. It's not literal. <laughs> uh, there are games of werewolf. Uh, there are other board games um, that, again, you may join. You may ask. Um, uh, the IRC channel helps. Yeah, they're cycling, swimming, dancing, running, uh, key signing. Um, key signing is an interesting way to get to know each other. And I think that was mostly it for tips and tricks. And uh, questions. See, Frieza. Where can I register for the Assassin's uh, game? I haven't seen it yet. I've heard people talk about Assassin's, but I never played it. And I mean, I played it once, mm. and I was like, okay, I played it now. Oh, but because you said it is, but I haven't found the answer to that this year. Have you asked on the IRC channel yet? Yes, uh, it's three days ago or so. And nobody knew? Nobody knew. Perhaps there is no Assassin's game. That, that would be a shame, a real shame. It could be that this Assassin's game was from uh, during the camp from 
the other group which also in the hostel. So it could, could be. be. Oh well. Or you can organize one. <laughs> so stories. Ah, you mean the game? <laughs> Are you trying to make everyone lose the game now? <laughs> okay, stories. Um, we need uh, volunteers to tell stories of uh, past Tepconfs. And who would like who would like to be the first to tell a story about a past Depconf? Vagrant. Hi. Um, about eleven years ago, I went to my first Depconf. I was invited to go. It was the first time I left the country in such a way that I needed a passport. Uh, I'd only previously gone to Canada. Um, it was a long haul on a flight to uh, Brazil. Um, had some interesting adventures getting a visa to get to Brazil. And, uh, and then I get there, and there's this swarm of people with like names I've recognized that I sort of have kind of been lurking on Debian channels and sort of seeing all these people. And they're all like, they seem to kind of know each other and they're talking to each other. and. Uh, and uh, we walked to this little, uh, this dinner event, um, and I started just kind of shutting down. I could barely even think straight. Uh, I was having trouble figuring out what to eat, and uh, um, I just kind of collapsed mentally. Like, there was, a, there was this, this resounding cacophony of, of, of languages and accents, and I couldn't even distinguish what was a language and what was an accent. Um, <laughs> And I, uh, I, I just sort of kind of collapsed on the table just with my head down. I was just kind of losing it. And uh, some of the people who invited me there as a kind of a part of a group uh, as the Debian Nonprofit Project, they kind of just, you know, asked me what was wrong, you know, and I wasn't even speaking. And they're just, you know, comforting but not pushing too hard. And um, this happened a few more times throughout the conference. I recovered. Uh, we got some really cool work done. I met some really amazing people. And then, you know, I would occasionally collapse. And uh, uh, just, I don't know, culture shock, maybe. Um, but eventually, I recovered. And we got some great things done. And I've been coming back ever since. Anyone new to DEPCONF with the story of how they got here? You got here. Well, I call you Naomi. This is work. Naomi from the new members, Bob. <laughs> so I'm new here. Well, I'm a Debian maintainer from the group two. Well, I started my Debian work 2008, but then due to my real life problems, I couldn't do much for Debian, but I'm really happy now that this DevConf is at Heidelberg, 100 kilometers away from Stuttgart, my home. And my brother studied here at the university. And I was very nervous to come here. <laughs> but I'm happy when I arrived uh, at the youth hostel and saw the front desk people and it was empty, the room. And I came in, not much people there yesterday afternoon and I'm happy to be here <laughs> and it's very interesting the talks and everything <laughs> thank you fast that comes Hello, I'm Leonora, and I'm kind of shy, except when I'm outspoken, those kind of very. Um, this is my third DEF CONF. 
I'm still kind of in the outskirts. I'm not, I, I'm like just a little bit involved in Debian, but I've been using it since about 2001, something like that. Um, my first one was, was in Oslo, that was 2002, maybe? Three. And, and I was, I, I was uh, really afraid of going. Um, I had been, yeah, using Debian for some time already, and my boyfriend was a Debian developer, and so we went to Oslo. It was a horribly hot week, and I was like also like tired from the traveling, and and I came there, and people asked me like, well, what do you do for Debian? And I was like, um, um, I was really embarrassed. I was like, I use it. And then people went like, yeah, we have a user. Like, how cool, we have a user. <laughs> And it was a really nice week. I, I ended up talking about uh, the bugs that I had reported and talking about the things that were work working well and the things that were confusing and, and got to know a lot of people. And then, of course, when DevConf came to my back backyard in Helsinki, then I went again and now I'm here and now I'm a little bit more involved and a little bit, well, yeah, not any less of a user though. But Anyway, yeah, so, so don't be afraid, even if you have never contributed anything, you are contributing by being here. You are contributing by talking to people, you are contributing by voicing your opinions. Uh, you, you are contributing more than you're imagining, so. New to DevConf? One, two. <laughs> okay, uh, hi. I'm here for the first time. No, not only a first time at DevConf, but also first time in this town. I've been told that it's a very nice town, so I will see you later, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's great to be here. Um, actually, I don't really recall how I got to know about this conference. I mean, uh, I think I've seen a flyer at another conference. So yeah, I basically ask everyone else if they would also come here and yeah, apparently there is even uh, another student coming. So uh, I'm studying actually. Um, she will come from Vienna on Monday. I'm very proud to also have her here then. So yeah, thank you very much. There was another hand. Hello everyone, my name is Indy Bio on IRC. I realized that a thing like Debian exists, I think last August. <laughs> um, my boyfriend is a Debian developer now, since two days ago. <laughs> and him and his friends managed to talk me into organizing the next DebConf with them in Cape Town next year. So I'm here to try and figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> So um, I think I didn't count it, but it, I, it's my 10th DebConf. I took part in DebConf 0 and 1 in, in Bordeaux, and uh, people asked me what my background of my computer is. Maybe some people see it. It is uh, a world map, and I have uh, made uh, stripes wherever I was. So it's kind of Debian travel, uh, I would call it. There are many DebConfs, and so so if you are invited to some places because you are um, active, you can see the whole world with Debian. This is really cool. <laughs> Thank you. I apologize. I can't do a first time at DevConf story tonight. Um, <coughs> Uh, for those of you who haven't met me, my name is B. Dale. Um, I am now one of the longest con continuous contributors to the Debian project. Um, I unfortunately missed DebConf 0 and 1 because they were held in Bordeaux on weeks which conflicted with a week that my family used to get together as a 
a large group at a beach house and do family things. Um, but I've been to every DevConf since DevConf number two, which was the year that I was the Debian project leader. I've been actively involved in the project ever since. I'm still a member of the Debian Technical Committee. I'm president of Software in the Public Interest, which is the financial and legal umbrella for Debian's activities in the United States. And I just wanted to tell all of you how thrilled I am to see so many new faces this year. I understand that we either have or are likely to set a new record for attendance at DebConf, which for a project that I have been personally involved in since 1994 is just really, really cool. So thank you, all of you, uh, particularly those of you who are here for the first time, or thinking this was something you wanted to come spend some time doing. And if you see me or other people who look like they've been around for a long time and seem to be deep in conversation and you're worried about interrupting us or something, please just come up and join the conversation and say hello and tell us who you are and ask questions because that's what this is all about. Um, one other little detail. <coughs> um, I work for HP by day. I'm very pleased uh, that over the years, HP has ended up being one of, if not the largest overall contributors to the financial sponsorship of DebConf. The first year that HP provided financial sponsorship for the conference was DebConf 3 in Helsinki. And uh, we haven't always been the biggest sponsor in any given year, um, but this year we are, and we have been for many, many years. So uh, even though I took early retirement in 2012 and then <coughs> allowed my arm to be twisted last year to go back and try and do some work for HP again. Um, it's really cool for me to not only have been able to be personally involved for a long time, but uh, to have been able to help motivate uh, the financial sponsorship that's made uh, travel support for some of you possible over the years. So please, feel free to come by and say hello. I will look forward to talking to many of you this week. Thanks. <laughs> Half an hour time. So, okay, third part. And sorry, I'm the introverted one of the two, so I'll talk very slowly and I'll be very embarrassed. So, um, for the third part, we wanted to set up a game that I'll break in the eyes between people and the idea is that and of course you can decide to not participate it's okay the the point is to exit a little bit from your comfort zone but not too much if it's stressful feel free to avoid it and it's okay so the idea is you take a piece of paper and a pen pens are very important because uh, from the reception and they want all of them, all 45 of them back, so please, <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> um, okay. The idea is you divide the paper in four sections and in the first one you should try what brings you to Debcom for in general what you do in Debian if you're a contributor or what you do computer related because I'm assuming here that you're probably here because you're interested in free software and you do something in free software or you're just very interested in it. So first part is that. I, I'll probably repeat it so it's okay. I'll look for some more. Uh, uh. Can you pass on? Really? Already? That's quite a lot of people here. I didn't realize. Yeah, so first sections. What brings you to DebConf? Or what you do in Debian? What you do in the free software world? So something about you that is Debian or free software related, basically. Uh, second part, no, okay, I'll wait. You just tell me when I can go. I was actually going to just yeah. 
list them and so uh, those of you who have a pen use it because we only have 45 I realize there's probably way and, uh, more. They are very precious. <laughs> and uh, bring them back. And uh, uh, I have pens. Raise there's your hand here. if you miss a pen. I'll pass them okay. on. I have one. Pass. <laughs> OK. Paper? Oh. Uh, ah, here. Mm. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, someone needs a pen here? Yeah. In folded in four. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Your what? Ah, okay. No problem. <laughs> uh. This is yep. quite improvised, so we are not sure how to. Enrico, hmm? I'll do that. And can you please write for to me on yep. your laptop what yes. we are supposed to write? We are going to write it so that on a screen. So. Okay, someone else needs pen. Sorry? 